Turning now to our wildfire coverage, the Park Fire continues to burn north of Chico. Here's a look at the latest numbers from Cal Fire. The fire grew just a few hundred acres since yesterday morning, and containment has jumped 3%. Cal Fire says they are still assessing how much damage the fire has caused, but right now over 560 structures have been destroyed. Evacuations on the fire have gone down notably in Shasta County. All evacuation orders have in that area have been dropped to warnings, signaling confidence from fire crews that the flames won't be reaching Highway 44. There were still orders in place, mostly along the eastern edge of the fire, where fire crews continue to try to build containment. And some of the homes destroyed in the park fire belong to first responders. ABC 10's Garge Paul Sunga spoke with some of the people who lost their homes to a fire they were actively fighting. A lifetime of memories reduced to rubble within minutes. You never think that your house is going to burn down in a wildland fire. That is the reality. Daniel Figueroa, his wife Heather, and their four kids with one on the way are facing as the Cohasset Dream Home turns into ruins. You kind of anticipate the worst, but I was hoping for the best. The Air Force veteran and BO Fire and Emergency Services Battalion Chief was on vacation at home and was afraid the family would not have gotten out if he was not there. As most families devastated don't have home insurance, the Figueroa's do, but the decision to rebuild is a little harder. I don't think I want to put my kids through that trauma. We're probably going to call it a quits and maybe just keep the property, but buy a house somewhere else. And scenes like these are countless across the perimeter of the park fire. And Figueroa isn't the only firefighter that is forced to pick up the pieces. My baby pitcher. Father and son firefighters. Um, David and Jonathan Tehan. His baby pitcher. <laughs> return to find some valuables untouched by the blaze. While they battled to protect the town of Cohasset, their own homes were lost to the flames. I just look at it and it's pretty overwhelming. We're just taking a beating right now. Um, but no, we're, we're going to... We're going to do something. I don't know what, though, but yeah, we're going to do something. Through the devastation, a little bit of good news to keep survivors like Figueroa going. <coughs> As everything around it burned, the chicken coop survived. It's it's completely odd. Like I have, I was like, okay, God, I guess you had a plan for that one. So a community that has lost a lot, but its heart continues to beat. In Cohasset, Garge Paul Sunga, ABC 10. Oh, just devastating to see the damage there, but so much resilient from the folks out there. Resiliency from the folks out there. And we want you to stick with us this next half hour where we take a deep dive into the case of the man suspected of igniting the park fire. And remember to stay up to date with the latest details on the wildfires burning across our area. Just download the free ABC 10 app.